Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Wednesday here at A Cure for the Itch. Uh, guys, this video uh, is just going to be a recap. I opened this hobby box of 1996 um, Top Stadium Club Series 2 football. Went big time rookie hunting, Hall of Fame rookie hunting. Um, the video was super long, guys, and and unfortunately my microphone battery started going bad at the end and it was just it was just not worth posting the video so um, I've just gone ahead and done I'm gonna do a simple recap video here be nice short and sweet um, I hope you guys like the product if you're looking to pick one up these boxes are super cheap on eBay and you can land some serious um, seriously good Hall of Fame rookie cards uh, as we did so let's take a look and go through it I'm only going to show you like the inserts and the um, star Hall of Fame rookies um, but uh, it was uh, it was a fun rip and there were uh, it was a lot of rookies to be had one per pack at least and many packs had two so here we go first up we had the um, die cut insert uh, of Eric Rett these are really cool looking cards um, the way these work is you'd actually have there's another one in the set it'd be a teammate of Eric Rett for the Bucks um, and and that player would have the the part that you fill in here so you could actually connect them if you wanted to like a puzzle so a really cool looking card um, not the biggest not the biggest name uh, and then we hit two of these um, matrix uh, top stadium club matrix cards these are super cool um, I don't even know what we have today that's comparable to this. I don't know if there's anything, um, but these are really nice looking cards. We got Robert Brooks and Rodney Hampton. Um, these are not numbered. I don't think anything was numbered back in 96, at least not from this product. We have two rookies. Um, these are insert rookie cards. We have Lawrence Phillips, really nice looking card, not the best name, and then Reggie Brown, same kind of thing love the look of these cards though very cool then our uh, rookies so for the big names we get John Mobley Keyshawn Johnson Eric Moulds times two actually Eddie George we actually hit two Eddie George I don't think I have the other one in this uh, video Walt Harris may not remember him. Walt Harris was a really good player, though, for that Bears defense. Laurie Malloy, uh, definitely my PC right there. And then our Hall of Famers. So the big gets were Brian Dawkins, for sure. Um, this card, uh, raw, sells for uh, around $18 US. Uh, it's maybe $20 US. Um, this one's actually in really good shape. I might grade it. I don't know if it's a gem, but it's really borderline. And then we have Jonathan Ogden, another Hall of Famer. Offensive lineman for the Ravens. Ray Lewis. Ravens had a great draft that year. Um, Ray Lewis, I was bummed a little bit. It looks like there's like a scratch or something, but you can't tell that it's not on the surface. It's like, it looks like it is, I think, on camera, but it's it's like underneath the surface or something. So that was a bit of a bummer. I don't think I can grade it um, because of that. And then, oh, there's the other Eddie George that I talked about. This one was in better shape, so I put it in the uh, top loader. And last but not least, Marvin Harrison. So all in all, we hit like all the big rookies out of this class, except maybe Terrell Owens. Um, I'm super thrilled. This box was like, I think, $60 US. Um, so, I mean, you can't go wrong. $60 is nearly the price of a blaster these days. So, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out the recap. Please like this if you did. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we appreciate, I appreciate all of it, guys. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon.